Hey everybody, welcome back. Today um, I'm going to review the book, I Survived the Great Alaska Earthquake, 1964. This book was written by Lauren Tarshis and is the newest addition to the I Survived series. So like, what is this book all about to start with? So this book is um, about a boy named Jackson who grew up in the Alaska wilderness about two miles from a river in the freezing cold. Alaska is naturally known for its like, wild areas and its many beasts. One time, a grizzly bear came down, attacked um, Jackson's cabin. Jackson is the boy right here, the main character. He's about a fifth grader, and then the cabin burns down. So then Jackson and his family has, have to go to the nearest town of Valdez. Guess how far it is away? 120 miles, and they don't even go by car. Guess what mode of transportation they have to use? They have to go on foot. It takes days for them to get there, but eventually, Jackson and his family reach Valdez, meet up with one of um, his parents' friends, and um, stay there for a bit. Then, Jackson has to get sent to public school for the first time, because Jackson grew up being homeschooled, busy living in the wilderness, and he made four friends. Leonor, Chris, Mary, and Nora. Good for him. However, one time all five of them were at, around the waterfront along with a lot of other people because a ship came to deliver resources. But, I mean, weather had is its own plan. So, a massive earthquake of magnitude 9.2, the, the second strongest earthquake in, in history, hit Alaska and shook up everything. All five of them ended up getting separated. And there's a lot of trouble, but this book shows how they survive the greatest earthquake in American history. I'm not gonna give you too many details about the earthquake, but let me just highlight most, some of it. So, um, Jackson was standing in, in front of this massive ship that came to deliver resources to um, the town itself, and um, guess what happened? This massive shaking came up, and then he literally saw some of the land was falling into the ocean. Really crazy for him to process, but then, he found all these massive cracks were just opening around him. The shaking intensified, got worse. Then, all the cracks, they got bigger and bigger. One opened right below him. He plunged into the darkness. However, was Jackson dead yet? No. He landed on the ground safely, quite, quite deep. But then, luckily, there was something below him, like some sort of water that spewed up and thrusted him out of the crack, and he landed on the ground safely, except with a sad, broken ankle. But then, friendship really helped him this time because all four of his friends saw him fall out and they all came to him. They were gonna help him get out of there because he had a broken ankle, he couldn't walk. So Jackson um, got onto one of his classmates' backs and like, that's basically how they ran for their lives. Glad that the shaking stopped after a bit. It wasn't too much damage, but at least they all made it out alive. So everyone go and read this book to read an amazing story about how friendship saves, saves the day.